Good Saturday morning, everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend. This is Donna with Donna Steals and DIYs, and I'm back with Release 90 Days to Embrace God's Plan for Your Life by Bridget Reed, devotional. Today we are on page 178, Protecting Peace. Then you will experience God's peace with exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about these things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me. Everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Philippians 4 seven through nine. Peace is like faith. It is one of the most powerful things in God's kingdom. The disruption of our peace can disrupt multiple areas of our lives. That is so true. It's important to guard our peace by guarding our thoughts. How do we guard our thoughts? We do it by concentrating on the good news. What is the good news? That Jesus died for our sins and has risen with all power in his hands. Since that is the case, nothing can ever come against us when we believe. The good news is that we are all saved by grace through faith. The good news is Jesus lives. That gives us peace that surpasses all understanding and protects our hearts as well as our minds. We must embrace Jesus and his death on the cross so that our sins are wiped away. Because he has done this for us, we can come into a divine relationship with him by simply believing that he is. Let us remember this, whether we are seasoned Christians or new believers. God has given us peace. When our thoughts start to go everywhere which way, we can remember what he did on the cross and the power he claimed in that one move. Our faith is in him. And our prayer today is, Father, thank you for dying on the cross for me. I ask for your peace to invade my life, my heart, and my mind. Give me wisdom on how to protect the gift of peace at all times. In Jesus' name, amen. This one really hits home for me today because... I have had such a struggle in the past with with keeping peace when um, I'm having some major storm in my life. Uh, and I've talked about things I went through a couple of months ago in my life and it had been going on for months actually, but it just came to a really ugly head, you know, um, back in in May. And it was so hard to keep peace. And it was so hard to guard my heart and keep the peace. It was so hard. I was really struggling just to have faith that God was going to make everything happen. Uh, it, you know, turn everything to, to my, you know, good in the end. And I knew he would, but it was hard. I was struggling just to say, hey, God's going to help me get through this. I, I really didn't know if I was going to be able to get through it. It was that uh bad on me uh mentally and emotionally and spiritually um it was just such a struggle and so um maybe that was his, another way he was teaching me to guard my peace and to keep that peace and it was hard and you know I should have uh, had you know had people praying for me but I should have reached out to more people in other ways that I did <laughs> in the end is like okay, nothing's working. Let's try this. And I think I would know next time to just go with that first. <laughs> go with that first. And so, yes, um, just because you fight battles sometimes that you haven't been through in the past or that you haven't been through at the extent that you're going through them. And, um, you know, you got to have support all the way around when that happens. So thank you so much for listening today and listening to me ramble. I just want to let you know that this has really hit home with me personally. And, 
please feel free to email me. Uh, my email address will be in the description box below, along with my song of the day that goes with this devotional. And if you have any prayer requests, if you want to know more about Jesus, um, please feel free to email me at platwire at yahoo.com, even with praise reports. And I will be glad to share them, your praise uh, reports or your prayer request if you ask me to on here. And I know that Joanne's daughter is home. She put that in the comments. So I'm that is a praise report. Let's continue to pray that she will continue to recover and uh, continue to pray and lift up Issa and her family, please. Thank you so much. I will be back tomorrow with another devotional. And remember that I love you so much, all of you. God bless you. And remember that God loves you too. Bye-bye.